Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Still, it's a typical characteristic of fifth generation fighter jet. It is a feature that reduces the overall radar cross section of fighter jet from different angles. This makes fighter jet almost disappear from radar. The beyond horizon radars are being deployed by many countries including India to detect the stealth fighter jets. But the signals traced by these radars are not very reliable and cannot be used to direct a missile to counter the detected fighter jet. This ability of a stealth fighter gives the massive advantage over adversaries enabling them to perform surprise attack or set or suppression of enemy air defense missions. At present, US is leading in the stealth fighter jet category with F-22 Raptor and F-35. China and Russia have also developed their fifth generation stealth fighter jet which are J-20 and Su-57 respectively. India as usual started late and slow due to the over dependency on foreign OEMs for supply of defense hardware. However, after Galwan incident, the country has realized how important it is to be self-reliant in defense sector and this notion was further stamped with the recent Russian-Ukraine conflict. Therefore, we have been seeing various projects under Make 1 and Make 2 categories where government is either funding for prototype development or assuring the purchase. Many old projects like ATAGS, Dhanush and Rustam 2 development has also picked up the pace. However, if India has to rule the sky, then it must feel its fifth generation fighter jet sooner as J-20 has already entered into mass production. AMCA is India's ambitious program to develop fifth plus generation of aircraft for Indian Air Force. It will be replacing India's aging fleet of heavily upgraded Seapcat Jaguars and Dassault Miras 2000 fighters and at the same time complement the license built Su-30 MKI fighters. It has been designed to be a multi-role fighter capable of air dominance, ground strikes, enemy air defense suppression and electronic warfare tasks. It will feature advanced technologies such as super cruise, divertless supersonic intex, advanced avionics and artificial intelligence. AMCA and IMRH are going to be designed, developed and produced under SPV or a special purpose vehicle model involving private players and they will have majority of stake. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process and cut down the unwanted red tape which we have in our PSU's procurement process and reduce the cost as well. On 14th March 2022, government has informed in Raj Sabha that the process for obtaining cabinet committee on securities approval for design and prototype development of advanced medium combat aircraft MCA has been initiated. Now while the approval is yet to come, HL and ADA have formally commenced the prototype manufacturing of MCA on 9th of March 2022. ADA and HL have cut the first sheet metal as a tradition to commence the aircraft building process. Now, MCA is going to be a swing role fighter jet, which means it can change its role during a mission. For example, MCA can switch from air to air to air to ground strike as and when needed. However, a multi-role fighter can perform multiple roles, but in a day, it can perform only one predetermined role. A stealth is the most important characteristic of fifth generation fighter jet, which is achieved geometrically and by extensive use of stealth materials. MCA's diamond-shaped trapezoidal wing design and the frontal fuselage with stealthy design drastically reduces the RCs of the fighter jet. DRDO is also developing radar absorbent material for MCA, which will be first used in Tejas MK2. MCA will extensively use composite materials. The divertless supersonic inlet DSI with serpentine ducts will conceal the engine fan blades. Absence of canards, unlike J20, will further improve the stealth characteristic of MCA. Now, as we know, MCA is going to be a twin engine fighter jet with higher thrust requirement. The initial version of MCA will also be called as MCA MK1 
will be powered by F414 ILS6 turbofan engines which can generate thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. The MK2 version of MK will be powered by engine with much higher thrust. During the recent visit of S. Jayashankar to France, it has been reported that India and France are under discussion to develop 125 kN engine. DRDO has been holding discussions with Safran on the joint development of MK engine. French engine maker Safran have been in dialogue with DRDO for a long time and also there are opportunities for collaboration under the offset as per the procedures. The joint venture engine will have new technologies and completely new design. At present, the analysis of design and requirement is in progress between DRDO and Safran. While the Kaveri engine could not meet the thirst requirement of a fighter jet, there has been quite a significant learning, especially with the metallurgy and development of complex alloys of titanium, nickel and aluminium. DRDO's lab DMRL has been working on all the materials and processing technologies such as single crystal blade technology supplied to HL and GTRE for its engines which is a major milestone in engine manufacturing. Super Cruise is another important characteristic of 5th generation fighter jet which means that the fighter jet should be able to travel at a supersonic speed and sustain it with full weapon payload without using the engine's afterburner. Afterburner consumes a lot of fuel and limits the endurance of the fighter jet and reduces the engine's life as well. Chinese J-20 is still struggling with super cruise ability. MK MK-1 will not have this ability due to less powerful engine. However, MK MK-2 which will be powered by the indigenously produced 125 kN engine under joint venture of DRDO and Safran will have the supersonic cruise ability. It will be able to super cruise with a speed of Mach 1.82. Now most of the fighter jets at present operates with fly-by-wire system where the manual controls are replaced by automatic ones. The fly-by optics is a level above this and have benefits such as faster data transfer rate and much secure and jam-proof communication due to use of optical fibers and photons. While this MK1 and MK1A operates with fly-by-wire system, MK will have fly-by optics system. The MK is expected to have distributed passive sensors with artificial intelligence assisted multi-sensor data fusion to increase the situational awareness and to work in tandem with advanced electronic warfare suite. It will have a distributed processing system employing fast processors and smart subsystems. MK will also have an integrated vehicle health monitoring system which works on sensor fusion. It will be equipped with a larger and more powerful variant of Uttam AEC radar which will use gallium nitride technology. It will be mounted on a mechanically steerable mount. MK will also feature EOTS which has already been developed and been tested by DRDO. It is a 2-in-1 system with capability of IRST and targeting port. It is a passive sensor and does not emit any RF signal like PASA or AAC radars, making it completely silent. If the fighter jet turns off its radar and tracks and attacks other fighter jet with just EOTS, it will be element of surprise for them and hence it is considered as an important aspect of a fifth generation stealth fighter jet. The MK will have a complete glass cockpit equipped with a wide panoramic touch screen display for enhanced man-machine interaction, a multifunctional display MFT placed in portrait orientation and a wide range holographic heads-up display HUD. The MK will have hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle settings to ease the pilot workload. Now let's talk about weapon and payload. MK will have a 23mm cannon and 14 hard points. It will be able to fire arrays of advanced weapons such as Astra IR, Astra Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Air 2 ground missiles, Brahmos NG, Rudram 1 and 2, SAW, laser guided bombs, and direct energy weapons, to name a few. In a stealth configuration, the aircraft is envisioned to have a combat weight of 20 tons with 1.5 tons of ordnance in its internal weapons bay. In non stealth configuration, 
the aircraft is envisioned to have a combat weight of 25 tons with 6.5 tons of ordnance in its internal weapons bay and external pylons. MCA will support combat air teaming concept where it will be acting as a mothership for UCAVs, Swan drones and loitering UAVs. HL has also demonstrated this concept in Aero India 2021. Now let's quickly look into the development roadmap of MCA. The first prototype rollout of MCA is not very far away and it is planned by 2023 and first flight by 2024. The production of MCA is likely to kick start in next 7 to 8 years. HL is looking to commence production between 2026 to 2028 with full fledged production to commence by 2029. The development of MK will happen in two phases. In phase 1, two squadrons of MK MK1 will be produced, powered by American G F414 INS6 turbofan engines. In phase 2, the four squadrons of MK MK2 will be produced, which will be advanced version of MK with six generation technologies and will be powered by indigenous 125 kN engines, which will replace the imported G414 engines. The Indian Air Force modernization roadmap involves the deployment of around 126 stealth fighters which is close to 6 squadrons consisting of 36 MK MK1 and 90 MK MK2 from 2032 onwards. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.